If you are particularly fastidious about keeping your sack statistics when playing the game of Apple football, this video is for you. Now, a question arose recently on the Delphi forum between the lines, which is dedicated to the games of Apple, and one of the respected members of the community asked a question about the Josh Allen card from 2021 regarding the card's sack and scramble performance. Now, when Appa introduced the master version of the game in 1983, they began using scramble numbers on the quarterback's P columns. That's the 26 or the 27. What happens is, if you call a pass play and you roll these 26s or 27s, you have to re-roll for an outside run play. You look on the quarterback's R column and you use the team's base index, not the receiver grade adjusted index. So the question was, are there too many or too few sacks numbers and scramble numbers? And has the formula or the intention behind them changed? And it was one of those wild and woolly patented between the lines conversations, but a couple of great points came out of it. Now, I don't feel as though I'm telling tales out of school because it's a publicly accessible and discoverable forum and people, even though they use handles, tend to sign their actual names on occasion. So a couple points emerge that I think are important to know. Now, one is that the Josh Allen card for 2021 apparently was prototyped four times and tested before this version was released. That FR0 means he does not uh, gain any yardage if he recovers a fumble. He falls on a ball, essentially. But the most important thing relevant to your sack statistics is that apparently, according to this very well-placed source, and you know his name, but I'll, I'll link to the forum and the message string here in the description. For about the past 10 years, roughly the time that the company switched its headquarters from Lancaster, Pennsylvania to Alpharetta, Georgia, the intent has been that any rushing yardage or losses uh, generated by hitting the numbers 26 or 27, is to be counted strictly as rushing yardage. Now, that is directly contrary to the NFL Statistician's Guide. And this is one of those cases where when an issue like this comes up, some poor server somewhere in the world that's hosting the NFL Statistician Guide suffers this surge in traffic as dozens of gamers hit the server trying to be the first one to report the discrepancy. Yes, the discrepancy exists. Now, the NFL Statistician's Guide takes pains to note that if a quarterback is running on what is apparently a design pass play, if he is tackled at or behind the line of scrimmage, that is counted as a sack. But if it's a designed run play, the quarterback tucks the ball, or he doesn't look at an intended receiver, and the receivers are actually blocking instead of trying to run routes, and this is the guidance for the statistician, then that would be counted as a rushing attempt. Now, I prefer the clarity of the idea that the scramble is simply a run attempt. Okay? Some folks don't like to play it that way. I'm just telling you what this well-placed source said is the case now. Now, if you look at the scramble numbers, there's another interesting point. If you have the 2013 copyright basic book, you'll see these R's right here. When you roll and see the long pass, those R's mean you re-roll and look at the outside run play. But if you look at the master game version, there is on occasion, the R, J asterisk, which means the passer, either the quarterback or maybe a halfback on a trick play or whoever's passing the ball is injured on the play. So subtle distinction there. Now, in the old days, there were no scramble numbers on the quarterback cards. Sack numbers, yes. No scramble numbers. So you can compare. As you'll see, you know, the Spurrier card in 76, uh, he'll have a 30, let's see, he'll have a 24 as an interception number, 21 is mostly an interception, 30 is a sack, 32 is a big sack, 31 is a big sack. In the Allen card, you see those 26 and 27s. Now, of course, this brings up the question of the good old Bobby Douglas card. I think his remastered version has about a dozen scramble numbers Whereas his original card, which would look like this, would have no scrambled numbers. You would have to send him on inside and outside runs. Now, in terms of accuracy, and I'm not that fastidious about my sack statistics, but 
I just finished my 76 bucks replay, and I've credited Spurrier with 35 sacks. In real life, he had 32. Now, he also only started 12 games in that 14-game season. Spurrier played most of my season. He sat out, I think, three quarters. So he absorbed a couple extra sacks, and I think the old card worked just fine. He also was within two percentage points of his completion rate. So good stuff there. But for those who are, again, particularly concerned about your sack statistics, and if you're replaying full seasons, apparently the company's thinking for the past 10 years has been that the sack numbers are sack only. 28, 29, and 30, those are your sack numbers, and 26 and 27 are to be counted strictly as rushing attempts, whether it's a gain, a tackle with a line of scrimmage, or a loss. I think it makes it a little easier, even though it's a run generated by a pass play. I had suggested that maybe one of the lines, either the rows rather, either 26 or 27, could be, you know, one could be as a design pass play, and one could be a design run play if you want to parse the statistics out that way, and you don't have to change the boards at all. You don't have to reprint anything. And to be clear, Master game era cards carded prior to the past 10 years apparently adhere to the NFL statistician rule. That is, for cards created pretty much prior to the move to Alpharetta, so copyright 1983 to say 2010 maybe, something like that, or about that time, 2011, 2012, if you run a full season, you would count those those tackles at or behind the line of scrimmage generated from a scramble number as a sack. So just a slight change in philosophy there, according to the man in the know, who knows the man in the know, and I'll let you read the thread at your leisure. Let us know how your sack stats go.